Hi there, Craig Hocknell here. Um, I'm kind of on the road, but it's really not a road. It's actually what they call coquina. Okay, here in Florida, um, they will take a sandy seashell kind of a mix and spread it out all over the road. So here, and actually all through this, are actually little seashells. See if you can see that. Right. So this coquina is what's called an integral part of the golf course. A lot of the driveways, pathways have the coquina on it. Uh, it's basically like hitting out of sand, except it's way more packed down. I'm here on the back of the driving range, and this is kind of an entryway to the maintenance yard. So this gets a lot of um, a maintenance vehicle traffic and not so much golfer traffic. So this is actually even more packed down than what you get on the golf course. But in this scenario, this is not a free drop because it's an integral part of the golf course. I might as well have hit it into just a sandy area. However, I have to play this so here's how you do it. As you can tell, I'm kind of making a couple of little practice swings back and forth to basically gauge with my practice swings how rock hard is this area of the coquina. Back here behind where the camera is, it's actually quite soft and that could be played more like an explosion shot, like a bunker shot. This is basically like playing it off of a cart path. So as I take my practice swings here, I'm able to determine how um, dense that is. I can also make move uh, the seashells if I want. There's a bigger one there. But if I've got a seashell down here, I've got a little rock in front of my ball, I can move that out of the way because those are loose impediments. And then my goal here is to be extremely shallow with my technique and try to get that sharpest edge of that wedge to come in right into the back of the ball and clip the back of the ball, chip the ball over this little curb and up onto the green. If I lean that handle of the club back at all, what's going to happen is that bounce is going to get activated and that front edge of that wedge is going to go straight up in the air. There's no way I'm going to be able to get this underneath such a, a firm surface underneath the ball. So I have to lean it forward, so I'm de-lofting the club. As I de-loft the club and put it in this position, I'm going to have a very shallow swing. As I do the shallow swing, that's going to help me figure out how's my trajectory going to look. With this wedge, back of the stance to keep the handle in front, and then a nice kind of smooth follow through keeping the handle in front, that's going to de-loft the wedge. Now, based on just repetition, I can tell you that that type of technique produces a low to medium height, very high spinning shot typically, so if I'm going to go to that flag that's in the middle of the green there, I, I know that with this club, I should be able to land it on the green and actually have quite a bit of backspin on it. So I'll see if I can demonstrate that for you. So back of the stance, gripping down. I'm going to aim a little bit to the right, close the face just a little bit, and then kind of move through this shot very, very shallow and smooth. Okay, came off the off the coquina nicely, had a little bit of a check to it, rolled out just a little bit past the pin. Now, if I had this whole location over here to the right, this would cause me a little bit more anxiety. And the reason for that is, you can see how kind of hot and low that shot came out. I don't have that much green to work with. So in this scenario, what I would want to do is take more of like a pitching wedge kind of bump it over the curb, land it in this little section short of the green, and have it kind of trickle up the slope. But since we're here and we got my 60 degree, I'm gonna try it with that. We'll see what kind of outcome we get. I'll probably have to fly this a little bit further into the upslope, which in my opinion is just a little bit more dangerous. But if I can get it to land by those sprinklers, I should get a nice check on it, and it should grab there and then release to the hole. So we'll give it a shot. Yeah, tons of backspin. I flew it a little bit too far, but it landed on the green and checked up for me. So make sure you're spending some time doing this. If you're playing a course here, like 
We have the Die Golf Course here at PGA Village where the Coquina is an integral part of the golf course and technically there are no bunkers. There are sandy sections that have rakes in them, but they're not really bunkers, right? They're not played by the same set of rules as bunkers. The Coquina is more of just like a general area through the green. So make sure you get out here, find a spot where you can hit some practice shots. You never want to be caught off guard with the different types of uh, turf conditions.